Jack, buck and doe, tick. We can shoot those. Fallow, buck and doe, row does, and what we've seen, row bucks. <laughs> Brilliant. Good buck, that was. Let's see him in April. <laughs> oh dear. See his antlers? See that around the bottom of his antlers really dry? You can tell when they're going to cast because basically the hair retracts away from the bottom of the base of the coronet of the antler before they shed. And we can talk loud and he's going to stand there. <laughs> we can crack sticks, he's going to stand there, here he goes. Bye bye. We've this morning, haven't we? Hey? Is that there with him? Yeah. You're joking. No, not bad. Couldn't have shot her now, she's on the skyline. We never got him anyway. <sighs> what? I didn't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave those two. That was a prime doe. <laughs> See? Come together in the end. What happened to, oh you want it? We cut in David. <laughs> were you on it? Yeah. Of course you were. <laughs> <laughs> Just. I'll tell you for why, because everything else we saw was obviously on his toes all morning. And uh, it was literally, we had a split second and uh, we took it. Great. Getting worried there. <sighs> Never worry, it comes good in the end. We've still got the compartment to do yet. Yeah? Compartment, is that what it's known as? That's a club. <laughs> well, it's basically blocks, isn't it? Compartments, they call them. In, I don't know. Right, Kai's going to have that. <laughs> That's the entry wound, and then it's a bit bloody, but there's the exit wound. Which again, I'm, I'm pretty confident that the saddle will be all good. I can feel it now. Deer dropped on the spot. Obviously it's a smaller deer, so 308, obviously it would drop on the spot, but it's still got to hit them right. So, like I say, it's a bit bloody, but it, that's what happens when you shoot them. Um, so yeah, good animal, good condition. Young doe, perfect. Yeah, so basically when you get a, a doe and a, a follower, you take the follower first, Obviously it's not dependent anymore, but it's still nice to do it that way around so you've got that proper management rather than just shoot the first one in season you see. So, no, pleased with that, good result. Rifle's done the job, bullet's done the job. Let's uh, clean it up and um, see what damage is done inside. Look at that, straight to the top of the heart. Took out everything, all the vitals, heart and lungs. Fantastic, missed all the green. Um, tricky shot really, angled shot. That's actually fragmented, gone through the shoulder and fragmented and gone into two holes on the side, so. So just to help show people where it's come through. So basically it's gone through the front shoulder there, mm -hmm. come through at an angle and uh, fragmented there, and one, two, fragmented there and gone through the two there. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, so, you know, for a, a close range, it's not a big animal with a 162 grain bullet, it's, it's a fair lump going through a small animal at a close range, so 
you wouldn't expect it, I personally, I wouldn't expect it to break up that much, but it has, but it has hit hard bone. You know, there's an argument both sides, but the animal dropped on the spot and animal dead. So, as in quickly. So again, you know, very pleased. The, um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a good looking bullet with the, with the green <laughs> you tip. Do like pretty, <laughs> I do like pretty. I do like Keep like, it still. Like, sorry, oh, sorry. Come on, keep it still. There we go. So you got the, the this, blade. How, often, how many have you used, how many power blades have you used on animals then? This is the first, to be honest with you. Um, I had a batch last year, which I used on the range, probably two, three hundred rounds, and uh, they were really good, grouped really well. The thing is, unless we're going away abroad, or I'm coming up to some different areas shooting some larger game, I do a lot of like fallow, muntjac and Chinese, which I tend to use the smaller calibers, um, just because, you like them? I like them. I shoot well with them. Um, but they're only doing the larger calibers at the moment, obviously, because the European guys are already there with their uh, lead free. So, yeah, this is the first one. And we'll use them through the season. So, we'll, we'll give them a, a long, long trial through the season. But so far, they, they group well. And obviously, we'll see what they like the rest of today. See him? See him? Yeah. See him? Yeah. Whoop! Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, Monty Buck. Is he a nice buck? Yeah, he's a very good buck actually. Packing buck. Very nice buck. Come in well, didn't he? Absolutely just fired into the course straight away. Yeah. Nice buck. Quite funky with his top bit of antlers. Oh look, split lip. The old boy looked and fighting again. Oh my god. Split his bottom lip right open. <laughs> These boys are just so 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 aggressive. Okay. <laughs> yeah, nice buck. Good condition. I was a little bit back. If you noticed when I <laughs> quite funny actually, I didn't want to shoot him head on because again with a with a big bullet, um you're calling a calling a small animal like this. Um <laughs> you got a lot of meat damage for shooting them with a big calibre, so we only use sort of like 20s or 50s, 243s, everything's small. And you can shoot them in the chest because the bullet will break up and stay in the front half of the body. Um, but shooting with a big calibre, it just passed straight through and you've got wasted saddle, fillets, haunch, the whole lot. So I tend to wait for the turn, which is quite exciting when they're coming at you. And they're, you know, you're squeaking them in, they come and come and come. They're never, and these, these bucks, older bucks, tend not to turn either. When they turn, they're on the way. So uh, he came in well, and he, as he, <laughs> as he actually, I, I give him a little shout. He turned his head back, and where I wanted to shoot, I just couldn't because I didn't want to hit him in the face. So um, I just put it back a little bit. So I was a little bit back, but it done the job. Um, it's still the front end, probably in, into the, into the middle a bit more. But again, he ran on. Again, it's an interesting thing. These bullets is a 308. So you see that road doe, twice the size of animal as this. Um, she was quite relaxed, dropped on the spot. This boy was charged up, adrenaline was going, he thought, doe in season, or it could be another buck around, coming in aggressive, adrenaline was going, didn't see us, shot, and he just went. Um, it'd be interesting when I open him up, see what, what organs are damaged, but you know, he, he was, you know, would you think that would take him off his feet? Um, but no, great, good result. Good morning, so. Good recovery. No. Two hours of nothing. That's called proper hunting. The build, the excitement, 
and then you get the result and that makes it all worthwhile. Uh, we'll go smiling, that's what it's about. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. Right. I think that's where we got ahead. It's a nightmare of a place to go because we've got the road there, the wind's bad. So we're gonna have a bit of a walk day. We're gonna have to get up this bank, straight to the 507, along there. They're gonna see us, they're gonna run that way, it's gonna be a nightmare, and then we we'll come around the back of them and come up to that hill and yeah. That's what I think anyway. And I want to do at least another 50 before the end of end of November. So she's got a bit of work, work. In front of, yeah, a lot of work in front of us, but um yeah, so some people think that's ooh, 50 deer. What a luxury. It's hard, isn't it? It's hard, it's 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 great when it's beautiful weather, but when it when it's not going quite to plan and um, it's pouring down and you've got another job to do and you, yeah but same as any work but, but so even then I still I don't know I still quite enjoy it to be fair out of everything I do I still get a buzz out of it and still like to get results for people even whether it's the farmers or for the for the people that are shooting them so yeah it's all right it's all right come on Right. Is that one in the middle? Yeah. Entrance. Exit's going to be a bit gruesome. Yeah. How no, much so? But it's done the meat damage, it's still clear. Yeah, two good ones to take out. Two shots, two animals, both young does. The rest of them are dispersed, which is quite good. So nobody wants to see that many deer on the field, do they? No. Fallow deer this evening. Perfect calibre for fallow deer. So we're on, on the money tonight. So all good, we're gonna head out. Over the back there, see if there's some fill spots in my boys, uh, one of the blocks of woodland. Um, and then failing that, we're dropped straight into the gardens. And uh, I've had a lot of problem with munt jack and some fallow in the, in the main garden, so which desperately need to be shot. So doing a lot of damage there. So right, let's go. Yeah, you wouldn't have thought there was a deer in that little group, in that little um, bush. 20 deer there almost. Yeah, it's dropped. every angle was rotten, isn't it? Yeah, there's no point in risking it. Not even, not even a chance, I mean, the house is there, house at the top, road, road. Yeah. They live. And so does safety first every time. Bugger. Right, okay. Onward. Right, 
just dead. Poor light at the moment, but you can see those scuff marks of a you know a deer that's definitely been hit. Scuff marks come through here. Again, big scuff marks here. Look, see the colour of the leaves? Just different, slightly different compared to everywhere else. Well, well, well. Pricket, fellow pricket. So, yep, happy with that. Off the sticks and the pressure. Good prick, he's recovered well, hasn't he? Mm. Really well. I'm really surprised he's recovered so well. He's got a lot. Yeah, he's right through. Living in a nice place. Yeah. Very good, very pleased with that. I mean, poor light, that bullet reaction was good. We see the shot was good. We heard the crunch. I was obviously concerned because it's obviously quite late or going towards late to shoot one. Um, but literally, the animal ran. 20 yards, 25 yards, and uh, dropped down dead. So 10 out of 10 for that bullet and bullet placement and great result. <laughs>